You know, if somebody would have walked up to me and told me in just the month of December there was going to be over 150 confirmed tornadoes, I probably would have punched that dude, whoever said that, in the face and told him to stop playing. It's December. You, it, That's impossible. I, that just don't happen. Hey, what is going on my Storm Chaser family? It is Storm Chaser Chad here, and today I have a fairly long video because we have a lot of information that we need to go over in regards to December 10th, December 11th tornado outbreak, the tor uh, December 15th uh, derecho event that occurred in Iowa, and of course, more severe weather potentially coming tomorrow and into the weekend. A lot of information to cover. This may be a long video, but if you're into it and if you want to learn more, please stick around. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and here we go, guys. Let's get into this. December 10th and 11th tornado outbreak was definitely one for the record books. Uh, there has been confirmed over 66 confirmed tornadoes just alone in that tornado outbreak. Uh, two being very strong EF4 tornadoes, one being the massive 168 mile long uh, EF4 that went through much of Kentucky that destroyed Mayfield. Uh, there was one also that was 80 miles in length that covered into Arkansas and Missouri and Tennessee a little bit. That one was the beginning of the massive tornado that occurred in Kentucky. Uh, unfortunately, it was not on the ground the entire time. According to the National Weather Service, there was a gap in between the two tornadoes, um, about a 15-mile gap. That, uh, but uh, of course, you know, as tornadoes recycle, uh, apparently there was several small EF1, EF0 tornadoes that occurred in between that break, which still means that there was a strong enough circulation inside the storm itself before it uh, turned into that monster wedge that uh, lasted a 180, 68 miles uh, long, you know. So, but with that being said, there was, I think, two EF4 tornadoes, uh, about uh, 15 or so EF3 tornadoes. Uh, I should show the list up here um, of all of the confirmed tornadoes that uh, the National Weather Service did cover. Uh, one being un, uh, unrated right now, which it's it, it may be just a weak EF0, EF1 tornado. But they have confirmed at least 66 tornadoes. Um, which is definitely um, one for the record books, but in the upcoming segment that I'm going to do, which will cover uh, much of the December 15th the, uh, uh, derecho event that occurred in Iowa, um, that one I read the entire segment from the National Weather Service page, so I will try to cover as much information on that as possible. Uh, which, I mean, basically I'm just reading from the actual National Weather Service page uh, in regards to the entire December 15th event, which was one for the record books just in the state of Iowa, which is unheard of. So, with that being said, here is the next event, or I guess you can say part two, of the December severe weather event that uh, occurred on December 15th. Severe storms and extreme winds December 15th, 2021, according to the National Weather Service. The first derecho in December anywhere in the United States. The first moderate risk of severe thunderstorms in December in Iowa since known records. Unofficially the most tornadoes in Iowa in a single day and most EF2s or stronger in Iowa in a single day since 1950 and preliminary breaking the all-time December record high temperatures in Iowa for just a few reasons why December 15th, 2021 event is unprecedented and historic event for the state of Iowa. The main feature was a powerful low pressure and that rapidly moved from the Colorado Rockies over northern or northwest Lake Superior on December 15th, 2021. Gusty environment winds preceded a line of severe thunderstorms which preceded numerous tornadoes and thunderstorm wind gusts across the state and region. As of December 23rd, there was there are at least 43 confirmed tornadoes that occurred in Iowa, with 17 of those tornadoes being rated EF2. 43 tornadoes is unusual, unofficially the most tornadoes in Iowa in a single day, with the previous record being only 35 tornadoes on August 31st, 2014. 17 EF2 tornadoes is unofficially the most EF2 strong, stronger or stronger tornadoes 
in a single day with the previous being only 16 tornadoes uh, as far back as June 7th, 1984. Prior to this event, a total of five tornadoes had occurred in Iowa in December since 1950, with all of them in southeast Iowa. To have nearly nine times that many tornadoes in one day across the state is unprecedented in any month, let alone the month of December. Straight line wind gusts associated with these thunderstorms were in excess of 80 miles an hour, with the, uh, the highest wind gust being around 88 miles an hour. This storm also met the criteria to be called a derecho, which makes it the first derecho in, on record in the month of December anywhere in the United States. And that's from, according to the National Weather Service, on the severe storms and extreme winds on December 15th, which makes it a uh, one storm to, or one storm system that uh, really blew everybody's mind. With all of that information from December 15th, let alone from December 10th and 11th, all in all, just in that week alone, there was over 356 severe thunderstorm warnings, over 221 tornado warnings, and uh, just about 15 uh, flash flood warnings all issued with just that just a week alone and um that itself is unprecedented in my eyes uh, as far as uh, being december in winter time technically and uh just I, I mean literally it's it's december you would think it to be you know snow and stuff like that but uh according to the national weather service december only averages maybe 26 whatever the calendar here shows Typically, it's kind of, um, it's not uncommon, but it's rare, I guess, in my eyes, as far as, you know, having this amount, uh, uh, this tornado activity in just the month of December. Um, so, you, typically, you imagine severe thunderstorms being from March, April, May, June, uh, that time frame during tornado season and during my peak season as far as storm chasing goes, but not in December. But... Uh, like I said, this is one for the record books, and with that being said, the last piece that we're going to cover is the severe weather event coming tomorrow and into this weekend, so let's get into that part. Alright guys, for this last part, we are going to cover the severe weather event that is possibly coming tomorrow and into this weekend. And I will show up here in this top corner where I'll half the time post all of my pictures. It may be a little bit windy out here, so hopefully it won't be too bad. But I'm going to cover tomorrow's severe weather event that is going to be in much of Mississippi, Alabama, uh, parts of Louisiana, and up into Tennessee. Um, it only shows to be a slight risk as far as day two outlook, but um, even in the discussion, the Storm Prediction Center even uh, suggests that there could be an enhanced risk for severe weather mainly across uh, Mississippi and Alabama, uh, potential for some severe uh, thunderstorms to be uh, ongoing from tonight into tomorrow and of course overnight uh, Thursday. <clears throat> but with that being said, um, the risk looks to be, as any severe thunderstorms go, the potential for uh, tornadoes does exist, mainly across you know Mississippi, Alabama, the, the border right there. Uh, latest models show a couple, two, two bands of um, thunderstorms developing, and um, any any of those have the potential to develop into tornadoes, of course, or just you know having severe thunderstorms as uh, being as it is, is right there. Going into part of this weekend, the next event, which is New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day, Friday and Saturday. Uh, Storm Prediction Center has highlighted a 15% risk for day five and day six, or maybe day four and day five. I'll have to look at it one more time. Uh, but they uh, potentially New Year's Eve will have severe thunderstorms uh, developing in much of kind of southeast Arkansas, um, Mississippi, and into northeast Texas. Uh, or maybe Louisiana. I'm I'm so tongue-tied. I'm just ready for uh, some more storms, you know um, But with that being said The risk for Friday mainly is for the or the New Year's Eve should be mainly overnight hours as the cold front really or almost like an Arctic blast pushes from the Dakotas down into our coverage area 
and the main threat looks to be New Year's Day on Saturday, the very first of the uh, very first of 2022. <laughs> looks to be like a potential, maybe even an outbreak of severe weather uh, across much of Mississippi, Alabama. What is to uh, possibly come today? Uh, it stretches a little bit further north uh, than usual. Um, not as usual, but uh, further north than the coverage area of what tomorrow potentially could be. But um, I may, depending on what the current situation is, I may be able to chase Saturday, um, try to get some footage for you guys. But right now, uh, still a lot of data to come, still a lot of uh, few days coming up that uh, could have, you know, the potential for some severe weather. So um, we'll see what the data brings, what the models show. And as more information becomes available, I will post it on the community tab as far as, you know, severe weather tomorrow. If Storm Prediction Center upgrades uh, or does upgrade it, which I'm pretty sure they will. Um, and then start looking into uh, what the next chase was coming, the New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Uh, starting off 2022 with a bang, apparently. So we'll see what this brings in. And hopefully we'll be able to record some uh, footage from that storm or that uh, severe weather event. Uh, so anyway guys hope you all enjoyed the video sorry it took so long to get all this information in but when it comes to severe weather the more information I can provide I feel like um, I'll be able to um, inform you enough maybe not all the information I could get but um, just wanted to put something out there as far as the severe weather that is could be uh, adding to a record-breaking December of 2021 and starting off 2022 like I said with a bang so anyway guys y'all take care I'll see y'all in the next video enjoy y'all's weekend coming up hopefully if you live in Mississippi and Alabama please keep severe weather um, in your minds because it could be a very active weekend coming up ahead um, anyway guys y'all take care God bless and I love y'all see y'all in the next video